Nolia Jere, a rural farmer in northern Malawi, lost everything she had. It wasn't war, disease or natural disaster that took it away. It was tribal law. After her husband died, Nolia's brother-in-law demanded she marry him. She refused and was forced from her home, losing her land and even her children to her in-laws. He was mistreating me. He snatched away my clothes and traded them for beer. He made life very difficult for me. Nolia returned to her parents' home, only to discover she had no status in her village, nowhere to build a home or cultivate crops. Nolia's younger brother allowed her to stay with him, but she soon became a servant to his family carrying out domestic chores and working his fields from morning to night. But Nolia secretly dreamt of having her own piece of land where she could farm and control her own life. And attitudes seem to be changing even among influential tribal leaders like Umkoshi Umzukuzuku. A woman is also a person like a man. If I die, my wife should have power on that land. And now Nolia has found the courage to demand that her brother, the village chief, give her a piece of land. And he did, four acres, making her the first woman in her village to own her own plot. Nolia now earns a living, selling her crops.